Hello and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 SDK tutorial video and in this video I'm going to be showing how to do red flashing lights on scenery. So I've got this custom model here which is just a mask that I've added in and if we go to the night time we can see that this mast now can't be seen which is obviously extremely dangerous for any low flying aircraft so what we're going to do is we're going to add some red flashing lights in blender to this mast so we're in blender now and we've got our mast and all we need to do is start adding some point lights to it so first of all click add light and a point light and that's put our point light all the way down the bottom so i'm going to have a simple red flashing beacon right on the top so if we zoom in we can see our beacon is pretty much in the center so again what we want to do is go to our light properties and we're going to have it bright red so make him nice and red and we'll have it quite strong so maybe 100 watts and a relatively decent radius let's say 0.5 meters no let's make it one meter let's make it nice and big and that has made our light for us and if we were to go into our rendered view in Blender we can see that's what the light would look like on the mast um, and we can just move it up a little bit just so it's not clipping into the model so let's put him right there that's quite nice and then if we go back to the point light and to its object properties we then have the MSFS light parameters and we want to take has symmetry and we also want to tick day night cycle now this is where we can change whether the light flashes or not so now this light will be solid so if you just export this back into Microsoft Flight Simulator by selecting all of the objects and then go into export and now back in Microsoft Flight Simulator if we were to change to night time we can see we've got this solid red glow on our antenna but we want it to actually flash so let's go back into blender and with the point light selected we just need to change our flash frequency and our flash duration you can mess about with whatever numbers you want here i'm just going to put 50 for the frequency and 0.5 for the duration and then i'm going to select everything again and export that back out and now back in flight simulator you can see that our red light is actually flashing on and off and it doesn't look brilliant because it doesn't seem to illuminate everything which would a bulb would actually do we can try and figure that out as well so let's go back into blender now what we could do is just increase our power a little bit more and then when we export that and we go back into microsoft flight simulator we can see it looks a little bit better that it's actually now covering a little bit more of the area so if we were to move back and maybe zoom down a little bit we can kind of see a flashing beacon appear in there so now what we're going to do is kind of create a fake bulb so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a new mesh and i'm just going to use the icosphere and with it selected i'm just going to move it so it's at the top of our tower and let's just scale him down so it looks a little bit better so maybe 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 maybe a little bit bigger 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 and then i'm just going to position it on top of the model that's roughly about right and now what we want to do is move our light above there and we can see it's kind of glowing a little bit but we really want it to glow as it's emitting the light all out of it so what I'm going to do with with my point light I'm actually going to if I go into relations and set its parent to be the icosphere itself and then if we look within there we've got the point not there and if I just set this to zero zero it should be at the center of there and now what I want to do is basically have this just offset maybe by about two meters probably five meters about five meters in that direction and we're just going to duplicate this have one there one there one there one there and one above so we need five of these so shift D to duplicate and just do that so I've got five of those and then each one of these is just going to move in a slightly different direction and once I've got them all done you can see now I've surrounded this area in the same light that should all be flashing in the same way so if we move back now and select all and we'll export that and see how that looks in flight simulator and now back in flight simulator you can see this globe up the top has actually been illuminated from all directions and it looks a little bit more like a flashing beacon and the further away you go from it you can still see it's quite bright in the sky and you can do things like increase the size of that sphere if you want to see a better beacon at distance 
the one thing to note is in the daytime with this way of doing the beacon still does exist and it still will flash you just don't see it that easily in the daytime and it doesn't illuminate any of the other area but you will still see it but it doesn't look too bad um, but at night time it really does give a nice night time flashing beacon I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to the channel for more tutorials coming in the future. Hit that notification bell. Give me any likes or dislikes and comment down below if there's any other tutorials you want to see. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.